The Jerome Grand Hotel in Jerome, Arizona is said to be one of the most haunted buildings in the state. It was built in 1926 as a hospital for the employees of a local mine and opened in January of 1927. It served the community as a hospital until it was shut down in 1950. The building sat vacant for four decades until it was reopened as a hotel in 1996. Almost from the beginning, the building has had a history of hauntings, perhaps because of the number of people who died there. Shortly after the hospital opened, patients and staff began to tell stories of people talking, moaning, and cries of distress coming from empty rooms. One of the first reports of a spectral soul was that of a woman dressed in white seen on the hospital balcony shortly after it opened. Another spirit that has lurked in the building for many years is that of a miner. A patient made the first report of his sighting, saying they saw a bearded man gliding down a hallway, turning on the lights along the way. A small boy, described to be about six years old, has also been spotted on the third floor. Phantom footsteps and doors that open by themselves have also been reported. Perhaps the most famous ghost of the hotel is that of a man named Claude Harvey. He was a hospital maintenance man in 1935. Harvey was well known in Jerome and his death came as a shock to many. When Harvey's body was found pinned under the elevator in the basement, his death was ruled an accident. However, the inquest into his death determined that the elevator did not kill him. Some said that maybe he jumped to his death. Most people, however, suspect that he was murdered, since the elevator was found to be in perfect working order and Harvey was an experienced maintenance man. Almost immediately after his death, strange occurrences began happening in the building, especially around the elevator. Several stories about death are associated with Room 32. Incidents include a man rolling his wheelchair off the room's balcony and another man taking his life in the room. It's reported that if you stay in Room 32, you'll see things like doors opening and closing on their own, faucets turning on by themselves, and you'll hear scary noises. Three 12 News Digital producers went to stay in the room. This is their experience. Uh, am I scared right now? Not necessarily, but it won't take much. Like, if these doors start moving, or if a light flickers, or like a lamp shuts off, yeah, I'll probably have a problem. I also don't really understand ghosts. I don't think I'm scared of like spirits, but if one was like messing with me, uh, then yeah, I would be scared of that. I don't think anything's gonna happen. I'm hoping nothing happens because I have to sleep in this room. So I guess we'll see. Cam and Kaylee don't think anything's gonna happen, but I'm open to the possibility that something might happen. You know, you've got to hear some noises. I think there's enough stories. I think there's enough rumors. You know, the whole town is built around these rumors that there is a haunting. Uh, we're in uh, what used to be a hospital. Like there's like a lot of death. A lot of things have happened here. So if there was something supernatural, like a spirit, this is the place where it's gonna happen. It might not even necessarily be benevolent, but there's a lot of pain, like a lot of life and death that happened in this room. I think we are gonna see something. You know, we might just hear tapping something, a faucet turning on, something supernatural might happen. I'm probably the most superstitious out of the three of us. I think enough has happened in my life that I might be open to see something and maybe Maybe it could be true. I don't expect to be scared. I think if one of them gets scared though, I will freak out. Like their fear will make me scared. We can hear the people in the next room, so I think that will just like interfere with anything that we might hear, that if it is real. I don't know, it's just not scary. Like I don't get the vibe that it's scary in here. Like there are these kind of like old tiny photos or drawings of little kids and little kid stuff is always kind of scary and films. I kind of hope that they get scared because I think that would be funny. But I don't think this is scary. I think I won't be scared. That's my prediction. An EMF reader and a spirit box were used to detect activity. However, the most compelling evidence for activity in the room was when the Ouija board was used. I just can't understand how it moves. Uh, it's like magic or ghosts. Yeah. Oh, we have to ask you a question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what are we asking? Are, is there a spirit <laughs> in this room? 
I love the letters. I'm just going to yes. Yes, there is a spirit in the room. <laughs> we all look. <laughs> Is that what that is? Yes, yes, because no. there's no over here. Okay. okay, what's your name? See? Alright, we know it's you, Claude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it. <laughs> is it you? Is it Claude? Okay, were you were you murdered? <laughs> I guess I'm laughing at my life. No. That's good. Are there other ghosts or spirits? Yes. Who's the boy? S. Oh. S. T. <laughs> yeah. E? Or is it on D? E? Yeah. B. Stev. Stev. Steve. It's Steve. <laughs> Steve. Steve. I don't look like a Steve. I don't think that. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that you was called Steven. <laughs> Nobody refers to it as your old child as Steve, right? Well, I mean it's. Now time, so maybe they've updated the nickname from now time. Should I take it back? Yep. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Claude. Scotty. And Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm recording now. La 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 la. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, let's talk about what we thought about about it, just in general. Like I like I said, I thought it was really silly. I did not feel scared once. I thought it was creepy. I mean it was very clearly an old hospital. Um you could tell that it, there was like little like clues that there were, you know, this was a hospital. People definitely died here. Um, I mean, I didn't see anything supernatural, but I mean, it was in like a really old kind of creepy building. So that part of it kind of weirded me out, but I didn't see anything supernatural. I think like the hallways were like really scary in themselves and like, but I didn't like, I don't know. I didn't I didn't really like feel weird, but I could like when I was in the elevator and when we got onto the hallway, I was like, okay, I can understand like why this place might be haunted. The or elevator's probably the spookiest part. Like that thing was like yeah. really like, creepy. Yeah, the elevator was the, I didn't I think cuz you can tell that's like the oldest part. Yeah. Um, cause everything else, like, you can make the rooms feel really modern cause like, the room had a TV in it and stuff, but, um, yeah, the elevator was probably the creepiest part for me too. I thought it was interesting that the people next door to me, like, were really interested in our room, obviously, and they like, and there was a lot of people there that were like, there to experience, like, the creepiness and the hauntedness, and I think that that surprised me a little bit. I thought the Ouija board experience, <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing and I don't know why, um, but I was thinking about it and 
I don't understand how Ouija boards work. So I don't know like how much need to put into it. Like, is it like, I don't know if that's real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. If we, if we think it's goofy, then probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd place too much stock into it, but I thought it was kind of cool to do that in that room, I guess. I don't think I felt anything supernatural, but having like the pictures of like the kids looking at us while we were doing that was I definitely a little bit creepy. Spooky. Cameron, you slept in the room, so what was that like? Uh, I mean, like I told you guys, like I slept really well, like, <laughs> and I never sleep good in hotels, and I think I like slept better than I've slept in months, and it yeah, was probably, I don't know what it was. Happened. I didn't feel anything supernatural. I was like most worried about like the bathroom door shutting randomly or like, I don't know, hearing noises, um, but none of that happens. I'm still open to the possibility that ghosts might be real. I, I'm still probably the most superstitious. So even though I didn't and nothing happened, I'm still open to the possibility. See, for me, this just like confirms that no. <laughs> <laughs> It's like supposed to be so haunted in there and we had all the stuff to make it, I don't know. No, I don't believe in this. <laughs> the producer's minds may not have been changed, but if you ever stay at the Jerome Grand, keep your camera ready just in case you witness the spirits that haunt these halls.